excited I am to be here today, and I'm grateful that we are here today. Uh, I'm literally just coming back from Eastern Europe, where our soldiers and our State Department and our ambassadors are the front lines fighting against Russian aggression in Crimea, Crimea and the Ukraine. And I bring that up in the context of our gathering here, because we are in a nation right now that just literally had one of our elections attacked by the Russians. We have a president that doesn't seem to take this seriously. And I want you all to know that our election process is probably one of the most important sacrosanct elements of our democracy. And the way you respond to Russian attacks on our election process is not just by, 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 by folding up, not just by complaining about it. We have to respond by showing not only our, our president needing to do things that are, are, are responding to that, but we have to respond by our engagement and our activism. And I'm telling you now more than ever, this is not a time to allow ourselves to have democracy be a spectator sport. Our democracy needs everybody now. We got to get up off the sidelines and get into the fight. And we have now seen what happens when too many people stay home or don't engage. Uh, I, I saw it happen last November. And I'm going to tell you what I saw it also happen. I'm going to just tell the truth right now. I saw it happen in 2009. You see, in 2008, some of y'all might remember those days, uh, it was uh, a man named Obama was on the election. Okay, now let all y'all applaud. And I want to tell you right now, I miss Obama. And I, and I, hold on now. And I miss her husband too. <laughs> but I want to be clear about this because I got to get to some of my friends up here. But I want to be clear. I went to go vote in 2008 in Newark, and there was a line around the polling place. And and I know how all well you all treat you know, the mayor here, but in Newark, we keep it real. And so when I come up at the end of the line, the Newarkers don't say, hey, Corey, historic day, the Barack Obama, no, they look at me, and, and the folk at the end of the line say, don't you think you're cutting in this line now? <laughs> I don't care who you are. I was the mayor of the city, but then I don't care who you are. You're waiting like the rest of us. I'm like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Took forever to get, to get to that line. It was a wonderful experience. All of us were so happy, joyous day. That night, we elected a new president. One year later, 2009, one year later, I have known this guy my entire political career, my entire professional life. He has been fighting for the issues of this state in every way possible. Recently, he's been the sheriff, and, and those of us have to know, this is a big issue for me, criminal justice reform. He's, he's the kind of sheriff that understands public safety is not just about locking people up. It's about making sure you have programs that help people, whether it's drug treatment, mental health care, re-entry program, that the way you keep a safe society is by empowering people to succeed. You all have to understand on this ballot, coming up on this election on, on, on Tuesday, we have people from the freeholder level to, where, where's Mayor Matt? There he, he's right next to me. I, I love this man, not just because he has a haircut similar than mine. But you all have to understand, he's got the hardest job in American government, being a mayor of a city. And what I learned when I was mayor, you can't hide. People know where you live. They know your phone number. You don't do this job for the money. You don't do it for the fame. You do, you do it because you love your city. And it really is uh, uh, about the start of our country. We know that when, when the chips were down in America, Washington's army just got beat over in, in, it got beat over in New York. It was right here in New Jersey that things turned around at the Battle of Trenton. And I bring this up to all those people who want to lose heart just because we got beat in, a, in a, an election last November. But I, I'm down in D.C. and folks are looking here to New Jersey. 
And they know that the first time to take the sign of the wind about where the nation is going, after the presidential election, the first next major election happens in the state of New Jersey. Whole bunch of people are gonna to wanna to know what the response is going to be from the disaster of the election last November. And so I'm asking everybody, we have a major election in New Jersey, but the primary is the first shot in that fight. I want people to look out and say, oh my gosh, look what they did in the primary. Not only did they make sure that the grassroots were covered with great mayors and great freeholders, but they elevated a man that is ready to take on the challenge of the Republicans in November and to stand boldly and strongly when we win the governor's seat back in New Jersey and say, this is an America for everybody. This is an American for Muslims, America for Muslims, an American for Mexicans, for white folks and black folks, for gay folks and straight folks. This is the man to begin to lead the great American comeback. So join with me from the grassroots all the way up. Let us give a sign to this country that we haven't stopped fighting for people and fighting for everyone. God bless you and thank you everyone.